Hi everyone, Darren here. And today we've got Craig's wonderful almond green twin point car. And uh, this is an original original car, original paint. Um, I believe this is a reproduction of uh, the original 60s almond green color, but it's a stunning looking car. Uh, someone's put in the dual glass sunroof out of the modern mini. It's a really nice upgrade. And inside, let's get the camera to work on here. Got lovely interior with uh, Check out a nice little Motolita instead of the airbag. So, really nice car. Anyway, he's brought it in for some service work. But uh, I just want to show you guys this. I do also work on, on modern classic minis. Um, one of the things he complained about was engine rocking. And I just want to show. So, if you've got an engine rocking that badly, you definitely need engine mounts. So here's the state of that upper engine steady bushing. This is the engine side one. Look how worn that is. That's incredible. Also, while I'm down here, I wanted to show you the giant oil puddle that this car is leaving. That's my hand for, for scale there. So this thing's got a serious oil leak. Anyway, I'll take care of that. Perhaps it's an axle seal or maybe the shifter seal's gone or something, but that's, that's pretty substantial. Well, I've gone ahead and replaced the uh, upper engine steady on this end. The other end looked okay. And while I was there, I cleaned up the engine ground that's attached to the uh, the bolt. And I used anti-seize on the bolts as well. So the next person will be able to take these bolts out because um, they commonly get rusted in place. Anyway, engine feels nice and solid now. I can't. I can't rock this motor, so it's time to go down below and check out what's going on down there. Well, now that we're down here, uh, I've noticed that the selector shaft seal is actually pulled away from the body of the uh, differential here. I also see that there's a trail of grease just dripping off of this inner CV, and this boot is actually split. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new Mini Spares selector shaft seal kit in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and change out the housing cover gasket and uh, inner seal as well and check the, uh, the bearing make sure it's not overly worn and then replace the boot while I'm here so that's what's going on with this Mini or at least as far as I can tell everything else is pretty greasy but I'm pretty sure that was the uh, main reason interesting that this seal pulled out I suspect that the upper engine mount having broken caused the engine to move so much that the stress on the selector shafts probably pulled this seal out, but it probably needed changing anyway. Well, that was fun. Changed the seal, changed the boot, um, new flange gasket, new axle seal, new boot on the outer CV, repacked the CV. Um, yeah, that was a fun little project. Take care of all that oil leak. So. Just need to take it out for a test drive, and I think it'll be good to go. I've also gone ahead and refilled this with uh, fresh motor oil. Another thing on Craigslist was more key fobs. So, originally he only had one fob. I went ahead and programmed two additional fobs. These cars can actually handle up to four total. So, if your Mini has only one fob, I can I can certainly program in a few extras for you, but uh, no real hassle, just some time and my little programming device. Anyway, um, if you if you guys need need fobs, give me a shout. Well, I've driven the car and I've let it sit for a few hours, and I'm not seeing any drips underneath here, so I think my repair is a success. So, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below, and. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another episode of uh, either tuning or another repair video, but uh, stay tuned for the next one.